The mist clung to Alara's hair, a shimmering halo around her fiery mane. Perched on a windswept cliff overlooking the Irish coast, she resembled a warrior queen surveying her domain. At 23, her beauty was a potent blend of sun-kissed skin, freckled like a skylark's egg, and eyes that mirrored the storm-tossed sea, sometimes steely blue, sometimes churning emerald green. Today, however, Alara wasn't a warrior. Today, she was a storyteller. With the wind whipping her skirts and the waves roaring their chorus, she began to weave a tale. Her voice, rich and layered like peat moss, rose above the crashing surf, carrying the whisper of ancient legends and the salty tang of forgotten battles. Her words painted pictures of mythical creatures, their forms taking shape in the swirling mist. Fierce warriors, with eyes like molten lava, mischievous fairies dancing on moonbeams, and mournful banshees wailing through the night. Each character, each twist in the tale, was etched onto Alara's face, her brow furrowing with anger, her lips curling into a mischievous smile, her eyes sparkling with unshed tears. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the cliffs in a fiery glow, Alara reached the climax of her story. With a final flourish, her voice soared, a defiant cry against the dying light. A hush fell over the audience, the seagulls, the seals basking on the rocks, even the wind itself seemed to hold its breath. Then, a single clap. It started as a hesitant echo, then another, and another, until the air vibrated with applause. Alara, her face flushed with the triumph of her performance, took a bow, her laughter echoing like the tinkling of bells in the twilight. This wasn't just a story, it was a piece of her soul laid bare, a testament to the wild spirit that burned within her, as untamed and beautiful as the Irish landscape itself. And as the last rays of the sun slipped away, Alara knew, she wasn't just a storyteller, she was a force of nature, her voice a weapon forged in the fires of her fiery spirit.